Okay, jazz fanatics, let me try to explain what's happened here. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Londo is an Afro-Peruvian rhythm, and it's usually written in six, but I decided to write it in three at this tempo because it's just easier to read. If you notice the bass part, and then you go to a YouTube video where a drummer is demonstrating the cajon or the uh, Londo rhythm, you'll find that is the cajon that is playing that rhythm that I wrote for the bass part. So I just took that, as I often do, uh, the conga drum part and any other kind of Latin rhythm, and I turned that into a bass part. The second thing I did was in the original, the melody pickup note is on four, and I decided to syncopate the melody and start it on the end of one. Just doing that really separated my arrangement from the other ones that I've heard on this tune. Also, moving the harmony from a 1-6-2-5 pattern and just changing it to a tonality, in this case F and then B flat starting in measure 9, it really opened up a lot of possibilities for me harmonically so that when I did create a harmony part I could really experiment if you notice in the original, the bridge is much like the A sections as it's mostly quarter note driven, although the harmony changes. So what I decided to do again to do a departure is speed up the rhythm of the melody by making them eighth notes primarily. After the third A, where I let my pianist kind of roam free and do what he thought was best with the chord changes that I implied, and filling out some of the harmony, the easiest thing to do after the tag would be go back to the form and solo over that. But instead, again, to distinguish my arrangement from other people's arrangements, I decided after the tag that we would just go into the classic Coltrane Quartet modal vamp, and where I trade eights with a pianist. If you want to hear the whole exchange, well, buy the MP3. Again, to summarize, the whole point of arranging is to put your personal stamp on it, and in my opinion, as long as you keep the integrity of the melody together, you're pretty much free to do whatever you want to do, and then it's just a matter of taste. Once again, if you're a New York Tri-State Area adult jazz student, and you do want to improve your writing as well as your playing, and not only that, have a situation where you can actually have a band that will workshop these tunes that you just wrote, then I highly encourage you to visit jazzlabny.com to find out how you can become involved in one of our small groups. Until next time, this is Russ Nolan and Jazz Lab NY.